Hi, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Tiled Map plugin for Unity. You're going to need four things to start off. The first one is obviously Unity 3D, which I'm assuming you already have. You're also going to need the package file, which you got from the Asset Store. You are also going to need Tiled, which is a free 2D map editor software. I put links for all these in the description. And you're also going to need a Tile Set image to work with. A tile set image is basically a set of tiles laid out in order. So this is eight tiles wide, three tiles tall. Each tile is exactly 16 by 16 pixels. You're going to want to make sure you know the dimensions of each tile because you're going to use that later. So once you open up Unity, once you open up Tiled, we're going to come to File, New, and we're going to create a new map. The one main thing you want to make sure you have changed here is you want the tile layer format to be XML. The map size, this is how many tiles wide and how many tiles tall you want it to be. The width and height is the width and height of each individual tile in pixels. So like I said, these are 16 by 16 pixels, so these need to be 16 by 16 as well. So here we have a space to draw in, but we need to import our tile set so we can actually draw down tiles. So you want to open up your tile set window. And you're going to click the new tile set button. You can call this whatever you want. You want this to be on based on tile set image. And then we're going to use for the source, we're going to locate the tile set image that we've made previously. Again, tile within tile height, 16 pixels. One thing you need to check is you need to make sure the tile set is imported. I've noticed sometimes it won't import the tile set even though we see it here. So every time you make a new map, get in the habit of checking this import tile set button and click it if it hasn't been clicked already. So go ahead, start drawing down some tiles. Now these right here, I'm going to use these as walls. Now what you need to do is you need to change the property for any wall tiles you want. How you do that, you right click, go to tile properties, we're going to come down here to the properties window, hit add property, and you're going to add a wall property. Now we're pretty much all set up, we're good to go. If you forgot to change the tile layer format to XML when you first created it, you can always change it by going to Map, Map Properties, and changing that here. So now that we've saved it, we want to add it, export as, now this is very important, you want to make sure it's a JSON file. open up a unity project you need to import two things before we put the package in you can also do it after the order doesn't matter you need to drag in the map and then you're going to drag in the tile set image file now go ahead import the package
up the window that comes with the package. If you look here, you see tiled maps. We can go ahead and dock this in. Now this section right here is going to be to build the maps. You can't build a map until you've built a tile set before. So we need to do this first. So you're going to click on the tile set image file. You're going to put in the width and height of each tile. And then hit build selected tile set. Now it's going to take a little bit because it has to rebuild textures and materials from this image file. You'll see it created a folder with the same name as the tile set. It has materials and textures. The important thing is not to change the name of this because the maps are reliant on the name of the folder structure. So now you want to click on your map file. This is what the data looks like and here you can see the name of the tile set it's looking for it's going to look for a folder called test tile set which we do have right here now up here you have a few options if you click make free make prefab it's going to create a prefab of the entire map that you create and put it in the project w window for you inner walls and outer walls this lets you see which side of the wall so if you just pick inner walls you will not be able to see the wall from the outside build selected map and there we have if you look at it from this angle and then look at our map so the reason inner walls is checked by default outer walls is not checked is so we can get a better view of the inside of our building now if we were to have both of these checked You'll see the walls from both sides. So I prefer this method, but that's personal preference.